Hello everyone, this is Tim here playing on Emmacraft. And you might notice that uh, we're in a little bit of a different place with a little bit of a different situation. And this is because we have done a map reset. We've started completely new and uh, we are doing this because a lot of the other people on the server have gotten really far into, uh, had gotten really far into, uh, their experience, and, uh, they had all gravity chest plates, quantum suit armor, all overpowered, uh, machines and everything, and they just weren't having fun anymore, and I decided I wanted to try something new as well, so we all agreed on restarting the map. And now we are here in a canyon biome, ready to build our new home. And I've gotten a lot of stuff done already. I just wanted to uh, get everything basic done before I started recording. And uh, luckily in the meantime I found a portal gun, and there's a baking gun as well, which makes it even better. Uh... So, I was really lucky in finding that, uh, that portal gun. And, along with that, I found tons of villages and was able to find enough libraries to complete this entire thing. And I got a fortune diamond pick already. Unfortunately, I died many times, um, through the start of the world. And, armor is the best thing that's happened to me yet. Because I died so many times at the beginning. I, had, I got a pole gun while I was mining, and I died, and it was devastating. In lava. Uh, here we've got a pulverizer, pulverizer set up where there's a steam engine. Uh, right now it's uh, stopped up. You need to hit it with a crescent hammer. So it's got the water going into here, and you just power it with coal. And uh, you just pulverize the uh, ores, so we've got a whole bunch of that. Then, uh, this is just basic stuff, um, I'm gonna take these frames and move them over here, cause this is the B chest, I've got a whole bunch of apiaries, extra armor here, which I need to put a steel helmet on, Whew. I actually found iridium, yep, I found iridium, oh, completely forgot to mention it. We are now on Feed the Beast Ultimate version 1.0.1. So, completely new pack, so we can now uh, try out new things such as uh, applied em energistics and uh, like the ME chests and uh, terminals, crafting, CPUs, all that stuff. And uh, so I already found an Iridium and I was able to bring it back with the portal gun. I actually found two, one in my mine and one out in the wilderness in a cave. And I succeeded in bringing one to about around over there. And uh, the server uh, glitched out and the block just disappeared from my portal gun. I have no idea where it went. Very unfortunate. This is the beginnings of our new home. Not much to see there. Um, I got some books. I've been using uh, mining turtles. We've got mining one and mining two. Um, this portal would usually go down to my mine, but that's down over there and I need to set up a portal later. So, our first order of business is probably going to be making this to look a little bit nicer. And I also want to add some marble pillars, because I think those would look great. So, I'm just going to line this with red rock, because we want to uh, kind of fit the canyon biome. And uh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you guys about the goals I have for this house and this world. So, um... One of the biggest things is going to be beekeeping, because we never really worked on that a lot, and 
single player or on uh, Emmercraft really at all. So we need to get into that more and uh, I think the best way to do it is going to be having a maze of under like inside the canyon ton tunnels that uh, can represent kind of like a uh, hive that's underground which I think would really look pretty cool <laughs> and uh, along with that um, have a big open area in the middle to have all our alvearies and uh, queen bees set up whatever whatever you want to call it the queen hive um, oh I actually have a lot of shards of minium um, <clears throat> so what else um, I want to use the uh, the bricks like we did last time um, like the stone bricks red rock bricks marble bricks and basalt bricks because I think those look really nice together and I've got a setup planned uh, already out as like a pattern inside the house that looks really cool <clears throat> so down here is my mine <clears throat> I just need to grab some uh, some stuff from there first <laughs> Almost all of the ores are down here. I never bothered to move them up there because we don't have a proper storage unit. I'll, I'll be looking to get into applied energistics as soon as possible. So we've got a ton of materials, nine extra diamonds. Uh, that's just random stuff. A lot of cobblestone and everything just from the turtles. And as you can see, a little bit off to the uh, right side there's a big area that was cleared out by turtles so that's what's going on there um, going into the nether from now on is going to be pretty difficult because I went in there and I mined some nether copper and apparently when you mine nether copper or any other nether ore uh, zombie pigmen try to kill you and I'm not really prepared for that, so we're not going to be going into the nether anytime soon. So that's our situation there. Alright, what else? Um, so bees, applied energistics. Uh, hmm. What other mods should we look towards? Of course I'm going to get deep into Greg Tech and everything. I want to eventually make these charge pads because these are great. They're so good. Just stand on them and they charge all your stuff. Oh, one thing to add. Um, if you guys wanted to see me use power armor, you're out of luck because in my opinion power armor is way too overpowered and I, I'm not going to use it. It's just it's unfair and I'd rather just spend the iridium on like quantum suit and uh, gravity chest plates that take longer and are more fair to get because they cost so much rather than just go straight to I mean let's look at uh, the power armor torso I mean this is all it is iron ingots and wiring to make that and I mean the upgrades they do cost a little bit more but I mean for the jet pack no it would be ion thruster ion thrusters I mean those are pretty easy to get I mean it's just iron and wiring and then this is just ender pearls and solenoids so really they're not anything close to the iridium base of uh materials you need for quantum suit and everything like that so really it's a lot more fair to just go for the more expensive items than just skipping right to power armor because that's just I don't think it's fair that's just my opinion you don't like it sorry but that's just the way it's gonna go
Uh, so what else? Oh, now, now we're going to do some marble pillars coming down from the ceiling. So I think those will add a nice entrance addition <coughs> to the uh, the front of the house over here. <coughs> So far, I think it looks really good. I want to keep it the the theme of uh, the theme of uh, Red Rock biome. So I want to keep everything Red Rock, and then use the bricks on the inside. But for like the outside parts, uh, we're just gonna keep it with just simple Red Rock. Okay, uh, we need one more stick and we need a handsaw and I am confused as to how to make this I really don't remember it hmm Hold on a sec. Uh, pillar. Oop. Marble pillar. Just a slab strip. Oh, okay. Okay then. We'll just make some more of those. Uh, is there a wide pillar? No. Marble column. How do you get the columns? Triple panel strip. Triple panel is... A cover, there are three panels. Okay, that's easy enough. We're gonna need some more. Okay. And right, I'm guessing this will make a triple panel. Yes, it will. Uh, and triple panel strips. And we can turn them into columns. Okay. So now we've got all of those, and I want to. How to make it look like it's thicker on the bottom? Yeah. A little bit thicker on the tops and bottoms. Oops. And thinner in the middle. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. And then we'd add some more farther in. Whoa. That's a strange look. Um, it looks a little bit more like basalt than it does marble. Uh, does it do the same thing on the side? Huh, it does. Well, we don't want that. That's not good. Um, I'm going to put it here for now. If you guys know how to fix those lighting glitches, please tell me. Because, uh, that's not really that pretty. <laughs> Unfortunately. I like it to be symmetrical. <clears throat> so 
so I think I want to move this one forward one more. And we might... Hold on a sec. I think that music's too loud. Yeah. It's turned up all the way. <clears throat> um, I think we should take out this side over here. And replace that wall again. Hmm. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Replace this wall with red rock again. Okay, yeah. I think that looks better. <clears throat> Another thing I want to do right now is make some red rock slabs. These things, oh my gosh, they look amazing. They look great. They're like perfection. <laughs> yeah. This actually should not be there. I don't believe so. <clears throat> yeah, that makes it more, uh, Hmm, wait a minute. No. This and this shouldn't be here. It should only be like this. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. And then these should be... Should be like this. Yeah, man, these look great. It really is looking good so far. <clears throat> you know, I don't like this. That lighting glitch really, glitch really ruins it. So we'll fix that later. Um, I want to try to avoid minium stones, but I think making one might be a good idea, just in case. So that's what we're gonna do. Just one. Uh, we need some stone, we need some gold, and we need some iron. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> And then we need eight minium shards. We have plenty. Due to the amount of mob hunting I've been doing. I don't need this first layer. This was originally just to burn red rock, but I didn't actually do that much. Okay, we have four stone. Just need this last bit of iron. Okay. We're ready to make a minium stone. Okay, we have a minium stone. And I believe if you press C, yeah, you can do a crafting table. Oh no, oh no. Angry zombies. Uh. No! Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, come on. I spawned at TJ's place. And he's got it locked up already. Why did I have to spawn here? 
Oh, that's the worst spawn. Well, I thought that might have opened up the door. Looks like he's working hard on a place there. Oh, I really gotta set my spawn back to that bed. I know what it was. I had accidentally right clicked his bed when I was visiting and even though it was just for a split second when I exited uh, it still set my spawn there and uh, knowing my luck the zombie probably has picked up my thaumium sword and will deal eight hearts to me with one hit knowing my luck of course Oh. Well, then my luck is much better than I thought it was. Mm, excuse me. I lost my boots. Okay, time to get revenge. Where are you? He despawned in me. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, um, I want to make sure I have, or I know the crafting recipes for the minium stone. So I know you can make diamond. <clears throat> so I want to know, oh, it's going to, oh. I don't want to know all 1600. Man. No, I'm not gonna find it. <laughs> I'm not gonna find them. Uh yeah. I'm not sure of how to use the minium stone other than making ender pearls, wood diamonds, all the basic stuff. If there's any more advanced ones I wanna know about that, but you know. Whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is going to be a late upload, but I just want to make sure it gets out there because I want to make sure this is out before I start live streaming, which will most likely be tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Saturday morning. And uh, during the live stream, we'll probably start digging into the mountain or canyon. Uh, we'll add some more pillars, make it look prettier, and we'll start on the m main machines that we're going to need so we can finally make a jetpack. That will be great. <laughs> so until then, I hope you guys have uh, a great rest of the evening and night, and I'll see you guys either during the live stream or during the next episode. See you guys later.